Due to the increase of coronavirus cases and hospitalizations, the Montana VA has made some changes to their COVID protocols. MTN's John Riley met with staff who say they are getting stretched very thin. The Montana VA has restricted all visitors to only end of life care or to provide transportation for the patient. Staff will be doing more telehealth visits where possible and reducing the number of elective procedures. What we have done is prioritize certain ones over others. A part of that is because of staffing. We want to make sure we don't just continue our services, but also protect the staff. Staffing has become a concern for the Montana VA, just like many other hospitals in the state. Nurses and doctors are catching the virus in the community, and the ICU staff who are on the front lines of the pandemic are no exception. So last week I had a third of my departments out, um, nurses. I had a third of them out. It's making staffing very difficult. Earlier this year, the Montana VA sent nurses to other parts of the country to help with the hardest hit areas by the pandemic. Montana is now one of those hardest hit areas, with more than 20 out-of-state nurses assisting the VA directly. The VA is currently making preparations for surge capacity to meet the expected increase in hospitalizations if current trends hold. Nurses say there is no comparison to how difficult the pandemic has been. We've lost um, an employee, so that was very hard. Um, we've had young people in the ICU that we've had to fly out. We've had to fly people out. The problem that we're going to have is pretty soon we're not going to have anywhere to fly people, and so they're going to be here. Um, with us. We are a lower level critical care um, facility and so we draw on our resources in the VA a lot um, but at some point they're going to be full and they won't be able to take our patients. A big concern right now is if Thanksgiving meals aren't kept small and mask mandates aren't followed there'll be an even bigger spike in the coming weeks and we won't have the resources to deal with it. Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News. A composite of state and locally reported data shows Montana cases of COVID-19 increased to over 57,000. 